With coronavirus, we're learning a lot about it over time, and uh, we've seen quite a few cases now over the course of the last few months. Um, it does seem like we're seeing a few patterns starting to emerge. Uh, the first is that uh, there seem to be kind of three big groups of, of people in terms of how, how the illness goes. There's sort of group one, which seems to be the majority of people, which is an illness with fevers and generally feeling kind of sick, with body aches and feeling tired. And those symptoms you know, are not so severe that people need to be in the hospital. They last about one to two weeks and they're, they're overall kind of manageable for people at home. Um, and then, then it seems like it just kind of fades away on its own. The second group of people are people that you know, maybe were tested when they were feeling ill initially and had a, a positive test and, and then over the course of the next week or so they start to feel worse and start to maybe feel more short of breath and when they come in we see that their oxygen levels are, are low and they end up needing to come into the hospital and, and get some supportive oxygen therapy and, and it seems like those illnesses are, are, there's a certain group of people where those kind of linger on and can last several weeks. And then there's a third group of people that seem like their symptoms initially come on a little bit harder, they feel ill from the get-go, and then they, it seems like they, they just keep getting more sick over the course of a couple days, and so uh, they're ending up in the hospital sooner, and some of them are needing more advanced support, um, uh, like higher levels of oxygen or even a, a ventilator. Um, the thing about viruses, and this is true of, of every virus is that they're systemic illnesses. So, you know, the usual story of fever and cough, which is the usual story with coronavirus, um, it's not the only story. You know, there's all sorts of um, presentations or symptoms that may not be typical or what, what we think about when we think of the usual story. So those have included people that have had mostly diarrhea. They've been people that have even mild symptoms of sore throat and maybe congestion and you know these strange stories of losing taste and smell. Uh, there have been people that have felt just kind of general body aches and tired and there have been people that that really haven't developed any symptoms at all and we know that because especially with some of the outbreaks we've had in local meat packing plants that when we do broad testing in those populations of people um, there's a certain amount of people that, that don't have symptoms and yet they're still testing positive for this virus.